Hey guys, it's Kelly from fitnessblender.com and today I have a fun bodyweight cardio workout for you. We're going to start off with a cardio warm up and then move into intervals of 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest in an ABAB format. You won't need any equipment at all for this, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, for our cardio warm up, we're going to be doing roughly 25 seconds a piece, no rest in between, so a really quick transition. We're starting off with a stretch and a reach, so you're pulling forward, reaching forward as far as you can, and then coming back and opening up your chest. So this should feel really good. Especially if you spend all day at the computer, these are muscles that really get worked over when you work a desk job. So reach forward, round your shoulders, and then push your chest back out. Take nice deep breaths while you're doing this. Two, one, next we're switching to side lean. So over to one side, you should feel this all along the side of your body, then go over to the next. So you're pushing into that tension, but not so much that you feel any kind of pain. All right, five seconds left, and we are switching to a slow butt kicker plus a standing row. So now we're going to be kicking ourselves in the butt while we're pulling back. So squeezing those shoulder blades together while you're kicking yourself in the butt. So use deliberate motions and you'll feel it much more. Even the warm up has you working. <laughs> right, about five seconds left and we're going to switch to high knee pulls. So again, this is a slower version because we're warming up. You're pulling your knee up as far, far as you comfortably can and pulling your arms down to meet that knee. So right from the get go, it's a good idea to start practicing keeping your core tight. This way you're working all of your muscle groups the whole way through. All right, next up we are doing a jumping jack toe, toe touch. So one jumping jack and then come down, touch your toes. So if you want to keep this low impact, I'm going to show you modifications throughout so you can step to the side, come down. Now the other side, down, just cut out the jumps. Otherwise, do the harder version as long as you can. Three seconds left. We're doing a squat plus a swing. So a basic squat, and you're coming here, go front and then back. So we're staying on one side of the body, now back, then front. So we're constantly challenging the things that your body really wants to do. Make it think and not use the same movement pattern every time. All right, now we're gonna do that on the other side. So up, then back. Drop down for your squat, now back, and then front. Make your brain work too. <laughs> this is actually our last warm up exercise. We'll get started into a routine. Two, one, all right. So keep your feet moving. Like I said, we're not gonna need any equipment at all for this. It's great if you have music that motivates you, turn it on and keep a water bottle nearby. Otherwise, we'll get started in just a second. All right, so go ahead and get your feet moving. We're gonna start off with a side lunge plus a side lift. So I'm gonna be showing you low impact versions all throughout, so do what you can. Just be sure to challenge yourself. So we're lunging to the side, come back to the center, and lift that leg. So now we're going to the other side, side lunge, and then lift. So if you need to, you might wanna hold on to something for balance. Um, otherwise, just do the best you can operating uh, using control to move your body instead of momentum. But the challenge balance is part of the workout because that's really good for your core. And it's functional too. These things count in real life. This is how you avoid injuries and how you're able to do fun things like snowboarding and wakeboarding and trail running or whatever it is that you like to do without, or at least with a less than likelihood of being hurt. <laughs> All right, so here's our first rest. So do whatever you want to during the active rest as long as you're moving. You just want to make your uh, it's a recovery period, so don't do anything too intense that you can't perform during the 45-second active period. Oh, it's a mouthful. Okay, so three high knees plus two wide squats. So one, two, three, drop. One, two. You're starting on the opposite side the next time. So as long as you're leading with a different leg each time, you're good. So the low impact version, 
You're coming to the center. One, two, three, and then down, down. So again, make sure you're leading with a different leg each time. Otherwise, if you are a beginner, you don't even have to go very deep on your squats. Just do what you can until you get the hang of the motion. Under 10 seconds. All right, there's one round of those down. Now we're doing that whole thing over again. So back to that side lunge, side lift. Two, one, here we go. Side lunge, come back up. Nope, and then that side lift. It's actually really hard to balance in here because of the white walls. It's really hard to have any kind of um, centering point, so it throws everything off. Makes it interesting anyway. <laughs> Make sure you're not holding your breath. If your legs are sore from a previous workout, you can actually take this down, or if you're a beginner, to just a step out so that's not as hard on those muscles if you're just getting started. Five seconds. All right, active rest. So like I said, you can just march in place here. You could do high knees if you wanna make it that much harder. It's all up to you. Just make sure you're challenging yourself. So we're going back to high knees and wide squats. Here we go. One, two, three, drop. One, two. I think I'm doing four actually now. It's not an exact science. Otherwise, one, two, three, one, two. Over halfway done. Ten seconds. Five. All right, here's our active rest. So next up we're doing a crossover, toe touch walk down plus a plank jack. So. Again, as usual, it sounds way more complicated than it is, but we're gonna walk down into a tall plank. So come here, walk into your tall plank. You do a plank jack. Now walk up and then take your hand and tap the opposite elbow. Sorry, knee. <laughs> ankle, I will get there. <laughs> tap your ankle. Basically, sounds like I need a beginner anatomy class today. Like I always tease, the exercise makes you smarter, just not while you're doing it. And if you want an even lower impact, you can take just one leg out at a time. Walk yourself up, tap that opposite ankle. Three seconds. All right, come back up, active rest. All right, next we are doing a wide toe touch plus a kick out and a twist. Again, it sounds worse than it is. It's kind of fun. These are all about coordination. So here we go. You're dropping down, touch your toes, and you're jumping down into that tall plank, Come up, and then twist. So you're not swinging. You're in control of this the whole time. So this is a really, you want to be careful with that motion. So smooth and controlled movements here. If you want to make it easier and even more low impact, come down, step back, back, up, up, then do your twist. Just make sure that you're leading with a different leg each time. Focus on trying to keep your hips forward so all the work is coming through your torso. All right, one more of those. One more of each of those. Starting over with the crossover toe tap. Here we go. So walk out here, you plank, come back up, tap that ankle. Remember your low impact version? Same, looks the same, just tap and tap. This is 
working everything in your body, especially your core and your upper body. Five seconds left. All right. So last 45 seconds of work here. We'll take a quick water break after that. Otherwise, we're doing that toe touch twist with a kick out. Three seconds left. So come down, kick your feet out, back up, and rotate. Remember your low impact version. Coming down, place your hands on the ground, bend your knees if you have to. Step out one leg at a time. 25 seconds. You can always mix it up too. So if you're somewhere in between uh, beginner and uh, intermediate, you can do a couple of the hard versions just for like 10 seconds, whatever you can manage, and then go back to the easier version until you catch your breath, and then just rotate back and forth in between the two. It's a really good way to make some pretty good advances in your endurance and all kinds of different levels of fitness. So go grab a drink of water and we'll be right back in just a minute. All right, we have three more groups to go. We're starting off with three butt kickers plus a reverse lunge. So again, this is one that calls upon coordination. So do what you can. Going one, two, three, take that foot back, go into a lunge, come back up, and you're doing the opposite. One, two, three, just like that. So if you want a lower impact version, just take out the jump. So one, two, three, come back. One, two, three, and you can even keep this just a step back. You don't even have to go back into a lunge if you're not feeling strong enough yet. Just do what you can. About 15 seconds left. Five seconds. All right, there's one down. Next up, we're doing lateral jumps with the knee. So again, coordination and balance. Definitely gonna be working on both of those. I'll show you a low impact version as well. So as hard as you can, you're jumping to one side, then balance and come up with a knee. So ideally, you don't touch the ground at all. That's if your balance is really good, come up. Otherwise, come here, set your foot down, gather yourself and go for that knee. So if you want to keep it low impact, you're just stepping. And again, same thing. Bring the knee up. Got about 10 seconds left. Five. All right, there's one down. Doing that set over again, starting off with the butt kickers and the reverse lunge. Five seconds left. All right, here we go. One, two, three, and down. Remember your low impact version. Just coming one, two, three, and back. seconds left. Pick up the pace if you can. Make sure your form on that lunge is clean. Dropping down between those two feet. Your core pulled in. Two, one. All right. So we're back to those lateral jumps with the balancing trick with the knee. So I don't know if you're here, if you usually 
do our cardio workouts starting right now. If you usually do our cardio workouts, uh, I really encourage you to also add strength training to your routine. So I love cardio. It makes me feel good. It's good for your body, good for your heart. But uh, strength training is so important if you want to see changes in your body weight and your shape. So if you combine workouts like this with our strength training, you'll get even better results. We have lots of ideas on our website about how to put those things together so you're not overworking or underworking any muscle groups. 10 seconds left. Just don't be afraid to add strength training to this. That's my best tip. Two, one, all right. So next up, we're doing a bridge and a crossover crunch. So we're gonna drop down to the ground. Another culmination movement here. All right, so we're coming up for a bridge. And then take your hands and meet to that opposite side of the body. Bridge, and crunch to the side. Don't use any swinging. You want to be doing all the work. You should feel this in your glutes and your back and your thighs while you're pressing out for that bridge. And then as you crunch over, you should definitely feel it in your stomach and your sides. Squeeze your muscles. Got about 10 seconds left. Three. All right, so next over, we're flipping over. We're gonna be doing a back bow pulse. So this is going to be interesting. It's definitely going to burn. So if you're a beginner, you can go ahead and stick with just a regular back bow, but I will show you both. So we're coming up and squeeze right here really gently. So you have to make sure you're not jerking. You're controlling that and raising slowly twice for a pulse. So if you wanna make it easier, you can do just a single version and keep your hands in by your head. The next hardest would be to put your hands out and do it that way. And if you want to do it like this, this is going to be the hardest version for this particular workout. So you should feel this all over your glutes, your thighs, your lower back, your upper body if you've got your arms out. Two, one. All right, let it relax. We're gonna flip over and do that bridge crunch again. Does anyone know of any brand of shorts that stays put while you're working out? If you have any suggestions at all, tell me in the comments below. All right, so we're going up for that bridge, then reaching across for a crunch. Make sure you're not holding your breath. If you have to, you can move really slow just to make sure that you're not cheating at all so you can feel it and get the movement down for the motion. All right, so back to that back bow pulse over. If you want to, you can hold a plank for your active rest. Just get on a little bit extra work there. All right, so we're dropping down. Remember, we're coming up twice and then dropping back down. Actually, if you want to make it even harder, you can not rest completely on the ground. So just hover there before you come back up for those two pulses. Makes it a lot harder because you don't get any rest at all. Remember, your easier modifications are just straight up, completely outstretched. You can also put your hands here. And you also don't have to have as much range of motion either. If all you can get up is just a little bit, just hover there, that's totally fine. All right, we're done with that one. So next up we are doing a bird dog pulse. So this is another one that's really good through your entire body. So 
It's also good for your back health. So on all fours, we're gonna be raising one arm and one leg together. So right here, and we're pulsing up just like we were with the back bow. Nice and slow, nice and controlled. One and two. So if you're brand new to this, you can break it apart by limb. So just one right here, then go back to that opposite leg for one. Just makes it a lot easier on your balance. So whatever you need to do to make it work for you, everybody starts somewhere. Otherwise, opposite arm and leg. Squeeze, when you contract those muscles, you should feel that in your shoulders, your back, your butt, your thighs, everywhere. All right. Next up we have a toe touch crunch plus a leg drop and we're gonna pulse there too. So that's kind of the theme here in this last couple minutes. So, you can get your legs up in the air. So pulse up, stay here, stay tight, but drop your leg for two pulses and then come back up and crunch. So again, the thing you wanna focus on is control of your own body. So you're not swinging, you're not flailing or jerking I'm using smooth motions the whole time. So if you need to, you can make this easier by bending at the knees. Come right here, and then just tapping one foot down. Do the hardest version as long as you can. Try to keep that leg straight. It's good for your flexibility too. All right, we have one more round of each of those and we'll be done. So like I said, this is a really good routine to add on to a strength workout, either for the upper body or the lower body. Just make sure when you're done, you do a cool down. Pulse twice on each side. That's halfway. So this is probably a mid-range difficulty cardio workout. We definitely have a lot harder cardio workouts than this. Definitely if you're looking for something really difficult, look up our HIIT workouts. Otherwise we even have easier cardio workouts than this too. So we've got you covered for just about every level of fitness. So next up we are doing the last round of that toe punch. Toe touch with the pulses. So here we go. So we're gonna crunch upwards, drop back down. One, two. Come back up and repeat on the opposite leg. So if you wanna make it harder, don't let your head rest. Keep those abs tight while you're dropping that leg. Okay, that is it already. So make sure that if you're not going on to another workout right now that you do a cool down and stretch. And I'll include a link to a couple of cool down stretches for you. You don't wanna skip that part, it's very important. Otherwise, make sure that you eat lots of healthy food after this. You're gonna to wanna to nourish yourself well, drink lots of water, and otherwise, good job guys, this workout is complete.